Hey everybody and welcome back. I'm Kevin and let's look at taking everything what we've built so far and packaging it up into a WordPress plugin. To do this we're going to use a new command in TypeRocket in terms of the Galaxy CLI. It's the make plugin command. Now make plugin will create a WordPress plugin for us and all it needs is a namespace for our plugin and this namespace, if you haven't already spotted it inside of our controller for flight here, the namespace that we work with is app. That's our main namespace that we're working in. So it's like our root namespace. And that's essentially what we're at being asked for here is a root namespace to kind of scope our plugin so it doesn't conflict with other people's code. So I'm just gonna come up with one here and Flights, and then we need a name for the plugin, so I'm just going to call it Flights. Hit enter, and then it's going to ask us if we want a separate Galaxy CLI command tool. That way, we can create models and controllers specifically for our plugin. So when we write, so for example, we're going to write a Galaxy Make Model. When that model gets created, it's no longer going to go into our theme it would then go into our plugin wherever it was listed in here, okay? So we definitely want that tool. I'm gonna hit yes here. And now it's going to create the Galaxy CLI command for us, and that's going to be Galaxy uh, underscore flights. Scrolling down here, okay, here we go. So here's our new Galaxy command and a config file to go with it. And you don't have to do anything. This is already set up, so we can run commands to create things inside of our plugin. Inside of our plugin section, if I go to flights here, uh, this again has just been created for us. And you'll notice that it's very similar to our theme. Okay, we've got inside of our theme, we have the app folder, config, storage, all of this kind of stuff. And in the plugin, it's a little bit more streamlined because we're going to assume that TypeRocket's already installed. And because plugins are modular, we're not going to include things like the config settings for TypeRocket because you're going to want one central point of truth in terms of your configurations. And then also your caching, you're going to want to have a central point of truth in terms of your application. So those things aren't included here. However, you will be able to create models and controllers as well as uh, middleware and database migrations and also routes and views and your JavaScript and CSS, all that can be packaged right in here inside this plugin. And this is a boilerplate plugin. If we click into the actual plugin file under app here, this is yours will be called type rocket plugin inside this app folder plus whatever you have called it. And inside of here, you'll see we have a few settings, some settings pages for our plugin. So when we activate it, we not only have a settings page for the actual plugin, but we also have a uh, settings link in the, the list view. So if I'm just going to refresh the page so you can see what this is. So if I activate this plugin, for example, we now have this settings link. And if I click on that link, we have a settings page. Okay, so that's what that is. And then also our assets. So loading in JavaScript and CSS for both the front end and the back end. If we scroll down, we'll also see there's a place for custom routes. We can migrate up whenever we activate the plugin. So this would run any migrations under database migrations. This plugin has none currently. The you have activation piece and uninstallation. And whenever you have uninstallation, that's when you would migrate down and get rid of all your database tables. You do not definitely do not want to do that if somebody deactivates. They might be doing that temporarily to debug some things that do not have migrate down inside of uh, deactivate. Not a good idea. Now, to get started, let's start migrating all of our uh, code out of this theme and into this plugin so we can modularize it and then use this plugin uh, custom code that we've built inside of someone else's site that's using TypeRocket. So to get started, we're just going to need a few things. We're going to need our controllers that we created, this flight and seat controller, as well as the corresponding models and all of our custom function code. So let's start with a function code first. 
and then we can move into the other bits. So right now we have resources, pages for flight here, the singular and plural names. I'm going to uncomment this new piece of code that I have here and we'll look at essentially something very similar to what we have here, except it, it specifies explicitly the controller that is going to be used for our resource pages. So by default, this line of code is the exact same thing as this line of code in terms of type rocket. Type rocket basically says, hey, if you don't de de define a controller, then I'm going to assume that you're using this keyword of flight here. I'll just put both on the page. I'm going to assume you're gonna use this keyword of flight and it's gonna be prefixed with controller and it's gonna be part of your app namespace under controllers. So it's, it's just magically assuming some things for us. Whereas here we're being a little bit more explicit. And since we can be explicit, then we can use a controller from our plugin section. However, if we were to just copy this, uh, where is it? This controller flight over to our new folder, the namespace that we have won't match because that's app. Instead, it should be my flights, right? So what we need to do then is to create a new controller inside of and model for both the seats and the flights inside of our plugin. And then we can copy the uh, internal pieces here into uh, the new plugin file. So I'm gonna do that here. We'll do PHP Galaxy Flights. So that will allow us to you know, create our code inside of the plugin. And then we're gonna say, hey, we want a controller. We want base and we want flight. And this will create both the model and the controller inside of our flight plugin for us. So we'll do that. And then we also wanted one for post on the seat. And this is just duplicating what we had done before. So now if I go back to controllers and to models, we'll see that these are located here. And if we look at seat, for example, we're now using the flights namespace. And then if I look at the old one inside of our models here, seat, we're using the app namespace. Okay, so this is important to realize is that by creating new namespaces, we're giving ourselves unique identifiers for our code, and then that no longer will have collisions with anything else that we're doing. So with that in place, I can then copy our existing code here, and then I can put that into the new seat section. And it's gonna ask me to import these new models, and we'll see we're importing app and user. I'm gonna say okay. However, we don't want to use the flight app anymore. We want to use the one that's with our new namespace. So I'll just change that out. And now flights will be imported properly. And then user will include the user model from the apps folder, since we don't want the user model that we're using to be a part of this plugin. We wanna pull it in from however somebody else has set up the user. Again, app is like your primary source for uh, the built-in features of WordPress uh, or the built-in models that are here in TypeRocket for WordPress. Kind of a mouthful. All right, so we have seat migrated now and we're just gonna do this for flight as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of the custom bits we have here, copy those, and then find our flight model and paste it right in. I'm going to say OK, but again, we need to change the namespace for the seat. And I'll do that. So this is looking good. And then also, we need the migrations for those models. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and paste it into migrations. And here we go. Our models are essentially migrated. All of this is looking good. And if I'm to jump over to the browser here, we can go to dev and we can go to migrations and we'll see that now we have type rocket migrations that were part of our core application. And then for our plugin, it lists the actual 
migrations for that plugin. Again, these are the same, so I'll need to migrate down before I execute this by activating the plugin. So let's go ahead and migrate down. And we'll do that using our Galaxy command again. And then we'll say yes. And that should get rid of our table. If I go back here and refresh, our flights table should be gone. There it goes. And jump back to the browser and refresh this page. Look at migrations. It's no longer run. So I can go to plugins, deactivate. And again, we have this, uh, let's see, shrink that. We have this migrate up action that gets called on activate. So this should run the migration in our migrations folder. So I'm gonna hit activate and then jump back to the code and jump back here and refresh. And we'll see we have flights. Very nice. And then as we add features to our plugin and we create more migrations as they upgrade the plugin, those new changes will take place automatically for us just because of this one little migration command. Okay, so with our models and migrations moved, it's time to move our functional logic. So I'm gonna close some things out here. Seat, flight controller, we'll get to that in a second. So here we have our resource pages. So I'm gonna comment this out. Oh, sorry, I'll copy it first, and then I'll comment it out. Then we'll go back to our main plugin file. And then under init, this is where we will register our flight code. So flight code will go here. And then we're going to, instead of using app, my flights. And you'll also note that I've added a little icon here so things look nice. So I'm going to save this. And then again, we commented out all of the resource pages. So we just should then see these resource pages pop up because the plugin is activated. So we'll refresh here and it's still here. If we deactivate, it'll go away and activate. It comes right back online. All right, moving right along, let's move our seats. So here we'll grab seats and paste that into our plugin. And here we're going to have a similar issue as we had with the resource pages. We needed to tell it what controller to use uh, when things are being uh, accessed. And so the same goes for our post type. We need to tell it, hey, that custom controller we have over here, we need to use this one under my flights. So what we can do is we will go to post type and we're gonna add a new, uh, setting called set handler and we're going to do seat controller of my flights and we're going to do the class of that and again that's imported up here where is it seats controller okay so now the seat has been migrated and we can comment that out save go back to the browser refresh the page we'll see seats are still here and if we want to update this to a I can update that and it works perfectly fine. So we have all of this migrated, looking good. One nice thing is before we kind of cheated to get these roles added, so I'm gonna copy this, go back over, and we're going to, on activation, we're going to add the roles, so it only happened once, and then whenever we uh, uninstall, we can do the same thing, and if we pass a value of true to that third parameter there that you're seeing for remove, it will remove it. So I'll just do that. And when we deactivate, the roles will be updated as well. So now the next piece is to get our controllers in place. So let's do that. And let's go to app, controllers, flight controller. I'm just going to copy all of this flight controller code. Actually, I'm just I'm going to grab all of this, copy it, everything but the namespace. I'm going to this, this piece here. I'm going to keep the 
namespace for that. Scroll down, paste all this in, and we'll see that at flight is being replaced by this, so I can delete that bit. And then all of these type rocket things work great. However, my views are using the default views registered under my uh, themes resources. And I don't want to use the themes resources anymore. So I'm going to copy these flights out of here. I'm going to move them under the plugin views. I'm going to paste that in here. Click OK. And now my flight views are in my resource views folder. And then for the flight controller, instead of using type rocket views, I'm going to use my flight view. And this will be created for uh, any plugin that you create. It'll come with its own views class and it extends the type rocket view. However, it uses the plugins view path instead of uh, the type rocket default path. So uh, the next step would be to go to our models and we had set up the user to talk to flights. So in this case, the user is going to be a central point of truth for us. So we're going to want to import the my flights and the seat controller or the models in here for this. So that's properly connected to the, the models that we care about instead of these models here. If I go to flights, we don't have any data because we cleared the database out when we migrated down. And if I jump over to DevTools and refresh here, we'll see that my migrations have now run for this new key. And I can hit add new here. Notes, add. Oh, unauthorized, flight not allowed. So I have to do policies within this new migration. So I'm going to go here, policy. Uh, flight policy already exists because we're not going to be creating it under the Galaxy. We're going to be making it under Flights. There we go. And that should give us a new auth folder with the flight policy. And then we just need to copy and paste from app auth flight policy here. Grab all of this. And this looks good. We'll come right back to our flight policy, drop all this stuff in here. So now we can only do these things if we have that capability. And now we just have to register that policy. So we'll go to the flights plugin here, and then we'll just make sure that we go to the policies section and then make sure that you have your policy registered here. So the policy for the model of flight against the auth policy that we just created. A few model bugs to address here. First, on our index view in the table, when we convert to a plugin, we need to make sure that we import directly the model that we're interested in. So my flights will be the model here. And then also in save title as, we need to make sure using my flights and not app. And then also we need to set the model class for our post type to my flights. And that will make sure that our custom fields are using this model instead of the app model. And finally, to wrap up, I believe the last thing to do is to move our custom route over. So here's our custom route. I'm going to copy this. I'm actually gonna to have to comment this out. And we'll go to our plugin file here and put our custom route right in here. Oops, sorry, not in the init section. Just kidding, we'll need to put it here inside of the uh, routes piece. Okay, so with that in place, our flights URL should work. Again, we commented out this route, so it won't show up if we do that. So flights, and there you have it.